let me know when you get one. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm here again with another video. This time it's a tutorial, small tutorial, very slight work, nothing too heavy. And yeah, so stick with so let's me. Let's go ahead and get started. Ooh. Don't look at the hair, okay? I got it still conditioning. First thing we're gonna do is moisturize and hydrate. We're gonna do that with the F Hydrating um, Coconut Mist. A little shake, shake, shake. Mm, loving it. And then we're gonna go in with the Professionals by Benefo, their primer. So tonight I'm actually going out. Um, yeah, I want to do a very simple yet nice look for beginners. Not too much going on, you guys. Scratching. And then I love preparing for this housewoman party, but yeah. And now we're gonna do eyebrows. <laughs> We are back again, you guys. If you want to know how I got these brows, make sure you check out my channel. I have a brow tutorial on there. I will be doing the updated one soon, but for right now, use the old one. You know, if you need help, but y'all know how I say like brows is something that everybody has kind of like gotten a hold on to. Like you do your brows the way you want to do your brows. Nobody else should be able to teach you how to do your brows. But if you need some tips on how to get started, then Check out the video. Before we go any further, you guys, this video is sponsored by, it's not sponsored by nobody. Oh, dog care? Oh, boom. Let's open up our drink of the day and it's the Mango Rita. Woo! Woo! Scraw. I can't say SD words, just to let y'all know. That's not good. As y'all can see, I um can still my brows and I also can still my forehead. Hopefully, I don't crease. And next, we're going to go ahead and apply foundation. For foundation, they were going in with the Lancome Taunt Edouard Foundation in the shade 550 Suede. This is going to be enough, we hope. Let's see. I feel like this skin has been looking better, y'all. I've been drinking more water. Scriffin, scriffin, scriffin. Hmm. Hmm. That was not even a pump, but we're gonna see how this right here works before we go messing something up, okay? And we'll add more if we need to. So I'll definitely know then using my Sephora makeup jelly sponge. I think this right, yeah, this is medium um, coverage. It's buildable coverage. So we're going to play with that. As y'all know, I don't normally use a lot of foundation. Hmm. I like the match. Okay. I do see we need a little bit more up here in the forehead area. But a little bit wasn't so bad. Like, it wasn't too bad, was it, y'all? 
Go ahead and just add just a little bit more. A little. So next we're going to do highlight and for today we're going to use the Maybelline New Instant Age Rewind Dark Circle Concealer and this is in the shade tan. Maybe too much. Yeah, sometimes I like using concealers that are way lighter than me because I just know how to like, you know, blend and get what I need out of the foundation, you know? Same thing, blend. Remember to press it in, don't drag. Look up underneath the eye. Go ahead and put that bad boy down. When your boy get finished with it, woo! Now, because I like messing up things, I'm gonna add just a little bit more. Not even gonna like twist it, just a little bit more. Right there. Right there. Now to set this bad boy, I'm going to go in with my CoverGirl Clean Professional Setting Powder in the shade 125, which is Translucent Tanti. Ooh, okay. I don't understand why all this is in the top. Like, come on, y'all. Oh, okay, that's a lot. But at this point, I don't know how to get to go back down in the hole. And it's upsetting me. It's upsetting me in my home, girl. Because we feel like, well, damn. I'm going to mix this with the Kat Von D Loose Setting Powder Lock It in the shade Translucent. Take my Sephora makeup sponge. There we go right there. Brush down the nose, and we're then going to just set a little bit on the forehead. Not too much. And while that's baking, I'm going to go ahead and start on these eyes. I'm going to start by priming eyes with none other than Truffle from the Fenty Beauty um, Matchstick Collection. You want to color it's going to just bring your eyelids up, not to like a white or like a real, real lighter level, but just bring them up to the natural tone of your foundation. Sometimes before, I used to just use foundation to do this stuff anyway because it was just bringing the, you know, the eyeshadow, well, the eyelids to just, uh, you know, a neutral color to where the face was. Matchstick in the shade Espresso. I used this to contour with. So we're gonna take this right here in our crease. Outer corner in our crease. You can put it on the outer lid too. Just on the outer lid, don't ever too much. Just a little bit more, just to blend that all in. Don't want to take it into the inner corner, so just keep it. Right there, I'll show you right there. Soften these edges just a little, and voila. 
And to finish off this look, my favorite Packer brush, Fenty Beauty, Galaxy Collection Do In It brush, Cinnamon. Y'all normally see this hole right here when I highlight, but tonight, there is something that I gotta say. She's going on the eyes, so we're going to, we're not even wetting the brush, just get some cinnamon on that packing brush, on the lid. And then taking it right here. You know how normally I do like a, a slightly over dramatic cut crease? Now nah, we're just gonna keep it right here on the lid. Right there, yeah. To move the lid and that's it. Pull that color back a little bit to get like a, a very nice gradient effect with that gold. Hmm. And that's your look, y'all. In and out. And then, and then down. Well, and yeah, and then out, and then, wow. Uh -huh. Girl, there's no special way to brush off powder. Just brush off that dang powder. There is something that I gotta tell you. Okay. And now we're gonna contour using, you guessed it, Espresso from the Fenty Beauty Matte Stick Collection. Like to box in my forehead. Then you want to take it from the brow bone down the bridge of the nose. Ooh. That's a little dork, sweet. That's a little dork. It's giving me black and mild. It's giving me funk. It's giving me cigarette seats. This brush right here. And it's gonna really leave a nice effect because it is the same color that's inside of your crease. So there you go, nice little effect. And that's how I always have surgery on my nose. Contour brush, wet and wild. Trying to soften up that forehead highlight. We're gonna take this green um, Sephora waterproof Contour Eye Pencil, 12 hour wear, and this is the shade Indulge Yourself, number 22. Wow. Wow. It's not sharpened. Wow. Well. Well. One hour later. Okay, so I can't find my pistol shopping, so we're gonna do the same thing with this Juvia's Place the Nubia 2 palette. We're gonna go into Egyptian Eye Defining Brush from Elf. I wanted a more bolder green, but maybe I should do that. Okay, it's working on this eye. Then we're gonna go in to cinnamon.
Have it. Let's go ahead and put it on the nose too, since why not mix highlighters, right? Okay, that's more the look that we was looking for right there. Dog baby nose. Who's gonna check us? Hmm. Hmm. Cute. And now, last but not least, our Cupid's bow. I'm now gonna spray with the Urban Decatur All Nighter Setting Spray. And I'm gonna go back into the Juvia's Plays, the Nubia 2 palette, back into Zuri. And Ooh, this so right so here so is the final look. Take it in, soak it up. Splash to here, put on a chain, huh? Rank finger, got his name on it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. I love you guys, and as always, stay blessed. Hey y'all, I had this look on for about Three hours. I believe it's cute. Real soft. Look a little orangey, right? Your mama look orange, ho. What'd you say, sweetie? Your mama look orange, ho. Stop playing with me in the comments. But yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this look. You bless. Ooh, is that good hair? There is something. All right, I'll get to the studio. It's taking me out. Bye.